Hi, welcome to interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to explain to you static black block or static uh, initializes. Okay, uh, let's see. I've I've written a class here, static initialize order class, and it has uh, two static variables. Okay and one instance variable okay then I have static blocks one two three I have three static blocks okay then I have a constructor here then I have instance instance block or non static block I'm just going to explain what is the execution the order of the execution first the static variables will be initialized that means these two lines will be executed then static blocks are executed that means in the textual order first this block will be the way it was it is presented in the class the same order first this block second third these blocks will be executed then these things will happen whenever a class is loaded that means whenever this class is encountered by the JVM okay whenever class is loaded the static blocks static variables are called executed the next mom the next step is once the object is created so we here we are creating an object object creation is happening here so object creation instance variable this variable will be called or this line will be executed and non static block will be executed fourth one this will be executed and fifth one is constructor will be executed where is a constructor here the constructor will be executed so let's see this order i am going to debug now I've started the debugging. Let's see how exactly it works. So I told you the static variables are initialized first. Okay. Okay. Then can you see it didn't go here because it's an instance variable. The the other two are static variables. It didn't initialize this directly. It went to static blocks. Okay. Then it comes to the second static block. Textual order. It is following the textual order. Then it goes to the object creation it goes to the main calls the main method where we are doing an object creation so during the object creation whenever you use object creation using new operator instance variables are executed then the non static block or instance block is executed then it comes to constructor okay then normal flow so this is how this is how the static um, blocks are called okay so you can tell to the interviewer during the class loading static blocks will be executed so please remember these five order of execution in your class and one more thing I want to show you I have I have opened the deep compiled class the class here you are seeing right so I have decompiled it I am showing it so how the compiler has changed how the compiler has changed everything so if you see the code the static blocks here and here but the compiler has combined all the static blocks in one single static block and instance block and constructor are combined together can you see here this one and this one this one and this one are combined together okay and the other things are normal okay so just it will this will give you an idea how the static blocks are executed what is the order okay an instance block what is the difference between instance block and static block so if I don't use when I, if I don't have this uh, line at all then these two will not be these two lines will not be executed that is instance block will not be executed constructors will not be executed so that means static block is executed during the class loading okay so I would suggest please remember these five lines five points how the order of execution happens in the in a java program it start with class loading then it goes to the object creation hope this video is useful for your java preparation thank you and all the best for your interview thank you